Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Faith and Friends. I'm Jennifer Beck, Mark Koontz, Andy Lynch are here with me as well. Are we doing the dance contest with Colin? <laughs> Our floor director Colin was uh, reminding us how catchy that open music is. I think we should have an Irish version of it. Bagpipes. Well, but a as we're going to learn in today's show, it is very important to celebrate with music. That's a biblical principle. Yes, it is. The harp and the lyre in particular. And the lute. I, I look forward to the lute. <laughs> <laughs> we have a presidential <laughs> trivia week last week, of course. TV 44 champion Mark Kuntz is right here and banished to the shadows to run the teleprompter is Matt Finkel. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I am just so impressed with Matt for even his willingness to step up. He was and, very and willing. Go he got one Mark. right. He did. Yeah. He did one better than I would. I might protest that. I think we could probably make an argument there has been presidents convicted of uh, <laughs> misdemeanors. Uh, certainly there's been speeding tickets given to presidents. Uh, ben really wasn't quite uh, very clear as if he was talking about misdemeanors or felonies. And if you want to talk about committing crimes, certainly John Adams and Thomas Jefferson committed treason when they signed the Declaration of Independence, a point <laughs> Benjamin Franklin himself made oh, oh, my in goodness. 1776. But enough about that. <laughs> I'm signing up for National Hot Cake Week. You think you'll you do better? Sign up you, for think it. you'll, there. you think you'll do better at Hot Cake Week than Presidential Trivia Week? I will win Hot Cake Week <laughs> via landslide. You can take that to the bank. Mm, I'm hungry for butter on top and maybe some different flavors. It is Fruit national. Flavors. It is National Hot Cake Week, and we want to bring pancakes to Andy. Well, we, we'll take them as well. It's also the National Snack Food Week, and I hear a rumor that Zach Bowers is coming by with some healthy but tasty snacks for us to try. Rumors aren't very healthy. That's only part of what you can look forward to in today's Faith in Friends. We're gonna take you to Main Street Live in Ada where they held their first Sunday dinner event recently and we'll catch up with a former TV44 employee who has gone on to use his television skills for the glory of God. Looking forward to that interview. And we'll get to all of that in a moment. But first, our scripture of the day. Last week, Ben Reif, our host of the Presidential Trivia, encouraged you to submit your own trivia questions. And you know what? I decided we're not going to have the scripture yet. First, we're going to have this. We have another trivia question for you, Mark. And Andy, you can weigh in. This one has nothing to do with presidential trivia. Or architecture, for that matter. But it was submitted, by, was submitted by one of our viewers. What is the largest room in the world? I have no idea. Any guesses? Does it have to be enclosed, I guess? It's a room. Well, so it that's can't not be. what the question said. I don't know. Shea I'm, Stadium. It's not a room. <laughs> and it's not even the biggest sure. stadium. <laughs> it's not even there anymore. <laughs> because I, I, I understand how you operate, and as immediately when I saw the question, I quickly determined that it wasn't necessarily a physical structure, but it was more of a metaphorical question. And, you know, there's the old joke about what room has no doors, no windows, and no walls. A mushroom. <laughs> this is the room for improvement. How did you get that? Room for improvement. Art, Art, I want you to know if you're watching, I did not give <laughs> him the this answer. A riddle? I got your <laughs> Pretty phone much. call. You called, so thank you so much for calling, but I did not give him the answer. She did not. She did not give me the answer. I found the answer on Google. <laughs> I think it's written on your pocket square. <laughs> nope. It is a presidential pocket square that Mark is wearing this week. Ben Reif had a we, pocket square on last week, yeah. this week. Next Andy, week it'll be Jennifer. It's be you. Next week it'll be Jennifer <laughs> with the pocket square. Hey, feel free to submit any other trivia questions you'd like to see here on Faith or and riddles. Friends. Call our station, 339-4444. Email us at faithandfriends at wtlw.com. Or food. We'll take food too, right, Andy? How are they going to email the food? We haven't quite gotten that is, the technology that is yet. Not, yeah, that is teasing us. I mean, we do we're, not appreciate We're still being waiting teased. for the 3D printers. They're coming along. We haven't quite gotten a 3D email yet. Let's All dig right. into some real meat. Psalm 92, verses 1 through 4. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night on an instrument of ten strings, on the lute, on the harp with harmonious sound. For you, Lord, have made me glad through your work. I will triumph in the works of your hands. Wow, isn't that encouraging? Is that how we start our day? Is that how you get up and, oh, the alarm went off. That's probably not the best way to start. You get up singing praises to the God. By the end of the day, you're saying thank you for all the different things that he has blessed you with. All the trials that perhaps you have gone through, you're saying thank you, God. I'm learning. I'm trusting you. I'm relying on you. And you are doing a good work in my life and my family's life. So important. So important. Let's do it more. Well, as the psalmist says, music is something that can and 
should be used to glorify God. And recently, such was the case at a brand new club in Ada. It's called Main Street Live, which started its kickoff with a comedy night and then, just a few days later, hosted its first Sunday dinner event. This week's Orthopedic Institute of Ohio in the community segment introduces us to Main Street Live. It's a town of three stoplights, a well-known university, and now Ada's home to a brand new club, Main Street Live, which boasts something for just about everyone. And we do a, a number of things here. We do catering, we do live events, we do live music, did you see, gospel events. It's the dream of Reginald Keller, who, upon moving to Ada three years ago, felt a need in this region for a venue such as this. We have a, a, a lot of open mics coming up. Uh, since February is such a short month, we only had two weeks to, to do things. So, like I said, March is wide open, and we would love for everyone to call and say what they would like, and so we can, you know, make it happen for them. One event already happening is Sunday Dinner, a faith-based musical night featuring good food, some great music, all in the name of glorifying Jesus Christ. When I approached my friend Reggie about this idea, and he, he said, uh, sure, man, let's do it, you know. Uh, I, I was telling him about um, the House of Blues. I've been to the House of Blues, and, you know, throughout the week they play b blues, but on Sunday they have gospel entertainment. And so when I brought that idea to him, he said, man, it sounds like a good idea. I said, well, can we do it? He said, let's do it. If you missed the first Sunday dinner event, yes, you missed a great time, but the good news is you haven't missed your chance on future Sunday dinner events. Well, right now it's once a month. Uh, prayfully, I want to do every Sunday. You know, if there's an interest, uh, if uh, your people out there in your listening audience, you know, uh, have an interest in uh, maybe having this event once a, every Sunday, I'm open for it. You know, you can go to uh, the website Main Street Live and send an email to uh, Reggie uh, and uh, let him know that you want more Christian entertainment. Grammy Award winner Ronnie Horde brought some incredible jazz guitar music to her the first Sunday dinner event. For more information about Main Street Live, visit MainStreetLive.biz on the internet, email events at MainStreetLive.biz, or call Reginald Keller at the number on the screen. Andy? Thank you, Mark. Well, we wanted to take a moment to say congratulations to some area orators. The annual God, Flag, and Country speech contest underway all across the land, and it's sponsored by the Eagles, inviting students between the ages of 10 and 15 to write a three-minute speech on one, two, or all three of the topics. Now, the Lima Eagles Club held their local contest February 16th. Nine students participated, and the winners are as follows. In the 10 to 11 age group, Joseph Engel, 12 to 13, it was Faith Schmierzel, and in the 14 to 15 age group, Christian Engel. They will compete at the zone level of competition in April, eligible for state and national levels of competition as well, and each level carrying a savings bond or scholarship as a prize. Very cool there. Well, our Black History feature this week is Rosa Parks. Many people knew Rosa Parks. It's the story of the seamstress who helped ignite the modern civil rights movement. But far fewer people knew that Parks was a devout Christian and that she credited her faith that gave her the strength to do what she did that day in 1955. She said, since I've always been a strong believer in God, I knew that he was with me and only he could get me through that next step. That is refusing to give up her seat on a bus to a white man. Rosa Parks, our faith and friends, profile this week during Black History Month. Well, do you ever watch TV 44 and ask yourself, I wonder what happened to so-and-so? It's amazing to look back on the years and see how God has used TV 44 to launch so many incredible people into ministries all across the country. One of our former employees, John Ondo, or known in his TV 44 days as John Owens, started his own company in Columbus, Ondo Media. Possibly you've seen some of his work right here on our station. He's responsible for documentaries like Echoes of Gomer and Reflections of Elida, just to name a few. Well, John's recently been pr producing some incredible stories about God's miraculous saving power, and he's allowing us to broadcast them right here on Faith and Friends. Jennifer's with John with more details. 
Thanks, guys. Well, as you have heard us say over and over again here at TV 44, we are just so blessed at the way God has taken our TV station more than 30 years ago and grown it to do incredible things. Well, one of the individuals that has been a part of that station really from the beginning is John Ondo. Maybe that's a name that rings a bell. You may know him as John Owens. Spent many years here at the TV station, first as a 15-year-old uh, inquiry, wondering about television. Love television uh, then little by little, you did probably every facet there possibly was here, produced the Turning Point show. It's not like that anymore. Basically, everybody just does a specific job now, right? You well, don't, don't do multiple tasks anymore here, right? <laughs> right? Um, we all wear many uh, hats. Yeah, that's, that's the beauty of this place, though. You get to well, do a lot of things. One of the great things that I think has been so neat is to see how God knew way back when you were 15 what he had planned for you, and he brought you here to this TV station, used you in incredible ways here and then moved you on to Columbus where you're doing some great things but yet has allowed us to continue utilizing the gifts that God has given you. I've always, I've always said when people ask me what I do whether it was here at, at TV 44 or in Columbus doing stuff with different ministries or even now with my own business I, I get the best job in the world I get to tell stories of how God's changing people's lives in, in so many cases and I've expanded that and I'm doing some business stuff and you're seeing some photos there of some some of the things I've been involved in, some little movies and some little projects, but for the most part, I've been really telling stories like uh, the, the, what you're seeing here is a story of uh, God did a miraculous healing in their life. And it's just one of the many stories I've had the privilege of being able to tell, just like I did in the old days of uh, 44 Magazine and Turning Point uh, with Bob and Jennifer in those days. So uh, some things are still the same. God's still healing. God's still changing lives and doing great things. And it's uh, a privilege to be able to document that and share that with others through social media and through television. Now the people in Columbus and other places have benefited from that. But I'm excited because here in Faith and Friends, we have an opportunity to share some of your stories. Yes. I think the King story is one of the ones that we're going to be able to share coming up. Is that right? Absolutely. A, a great story. A young couple that uh, he's serving in the military. And, and you'll see the whole story. But basically, it's... It's amazing how God intervened and uh, when, they, when you find out that your 21 month old child has a brain tumor and you're overseas mm. serving the military, you gotta get home. And great story, you'll, you'll love seeing that one. And we got some other ones coming up. Uh, one man who died on the operating table three times. Mm. One wasn't enough, he died three times. And mm. he's still with us and that'll be another great story. And hopefully we'll keep, we'll keep feeding those to you because people need to see that again, God isn't off the throne. He's still yeah. doing great things. And um, again, to be able to share these stories, this is what Jesus is, this is what Paul mm -hmm. did. He shared stories. He didn't do as much preaching as he said, hey, you know, here's a story of a guy who, you know, was down by the road and he was blind and so forth. This is what uh, God really did. And th this, is a, uh, this is a little movie called Abel. It's a little f eight minute movie. It's not specifically, quote unquote, a Christian movie, but it's got a great moral uh, backbone that I was really pleased to be part of this team with. Um, and uh, just talking about, you know, how everybody has a purpose and God mm. has a kind of a, a perfect person for everybody in their lives. Cool little things we get to do. And of course, John, you are the, you're the brains behind the, the Gomer School stories and the Elida School stories and the Botkins one is coming up, which, you know, we've heard such rave reviews. Um, you were so incremental with our, uh, our, our anniversary yeah. show. Um, but That's because I know where all the tapes are. You're doing other things. And as you know, we're, television goes fast and we're almost out of time. Yeah. But you're doing so many other things as well, and you have written a book. Is that right? Right. You know, I, I work with a lot of small businesses, and they're, they're they're asking me questions like, "What do I do with a website? What do I do with social media? I don't understand." So I wrote a little book called "How to Avoid Immediate Meltdown" because so many small businesses don't understand how to use social media. Um, and they, uh, even more than that, they don't have a vision for what they're doing. And so I wrote a simple, simple book to kind of boil some of those things down. It's been really helpful for a lot of businesses that are trying to get a strategy together and understand how much should I really do myself and how much should I have a media consultant come in. Mm -hmm. Kind of scary words, but it, it really can make a difference when you have some people who really give you good counsel on how to use your social media because it can make and break you in this mm -hmm. world. You guys do such a great job on WTLW.com and on all the different websites of blogging and keeping people interact because it, it, again, once again it comes back down to relationships and that's what social media is about mm, and that's what uh, TV44 is about is relationships. Well and any more today being on top of that social media is very important. Yes. Where can people get your book? You can get it at ondomedia.com. It's O-N-D-O media.com. It's also on Amazon and Kindle. You can download it to your iPad and um, so Appreciate it. Go take a look at it and uh, order it, and hopefully it'll help solve some questions. And, and, and you're available for video projects as well, right? Web-based projects, all of those kinds absolutely. of things. Absolutely. Love to tell stories. So if you got a story to tell, whether it's a school or a testimony or something with your church, a fundraiser, 
love to help out and tell the story for you. All right, John, thank you so much You're for welcome. continuing to bless us here at TV 44, being a tool for God. We appreciate it so much. Be watching for those stories that will be coming up that John has produced. I know they're going to touch your heart. All right, back to you guys. Thank you, Jennifer. To connect with John Ondo, visit his website, Ondo Media, that's O-N-D-O media.com, or email him at the email address on the screen. Now, coming up in just a few moments, Zach Bowers joins the show with some pretty tasty snack food ideas. Make sure you stick around for that. But first, pull out your calendars and plan to tune into TV 44 on March 11th at 8 p.m. You remember hearing about the debate between Bill Nye, the science guy, and Ken Ham, founder of Answers in Genesis? It was so popular, 900 tickets available for on-site attendance of the debate earlier this month sold out in just two days. Both men answered the following question. Is creation a viable model of origins in today's modern scientific era? And as expected, their responses were quite different from one another. Well, you can plan to watch the entire Nyham debate right here on TV44, Tuesday, March 11th at 8 p.m. Well, time now for Andy's favorite part of the show. You've been hearing from many of you that's your favorite part of the show as well. It's time to talk food. And in honor of National Snack Food Month, time not to just talk, but try some healthy, yet tasty snacks. Zach joins Jennifer, Andy, and some special guests with more. Zach? Well, thank you, Mark. We do have a special guest today mm. because we are talking snacking, and what better of an expert to bring on than this young <laughs> gentleman right here, Andy's son, Nathan. Thanks for being on today, Nathan. You excited? All right. He's, he already, he's already been sampling, I believe. Uh, yeah. Well, we are stuff. talking snacking because it can be a beneficial part to your diet, but it can also be a detriment. And so we want to talk about healthy snacking, not the Doritos, not the uh, whatever. I like Doritos. I do too. You looked maybe. at me when you said Doritos, Zach. <laughs> Someday we might do a Doritos segment, but healthy <laughs> snacks today. Let's take a look at a few benefits to snacking, actually, because it can be a benefit to your diet. Did you know munching on one carrot? can give you all of your vitamin A needs for a single day. And the reason we're bringing this up is because 75% of people actually eat at least one snack a day. Maybe you're sitting around the office, maybe you're at home, and often we're snacking without even realizing mm. it. And it can just be a, a big part of our diet. And so we want to do it in a healthy way. Are you talking about the baby carrots? I believe Probably we're talking about a full, <laughs> large, large carrot. All right. Proper snacking can help you from overeating as well, so it can be a good part to sustaining you between meals. And so what we're going to go over is a few healthy snacks that we do have today, starting with these frozen yogurt cups here. You can see on the plate this purple, they've got berries in it, and this is going to be extremely easy to make. So we're going to actually mix it right here on set, if you guys are willing to. Yeah. Help. You ready to mix, Nathan? Mm -hmm. well, the ingredients going into this one, Jennifer, if you'll take this banana, is one banana. We're going to be having eight ounces of plain low-fat yogurt. All right. And then we're going to be using peaches. These were actually made with berries. You can substitute the two. And then crushed pineapple. So what we're going to do is mash the banana. I mash everything. Nathan's going to help there us go. mash. Let me get the black masher. <laughs> that thing mashed. Nice and strong there. It's very easy because we're going to, after we're finished mashing here, we're going to mix in the yogurt and the pineapple and the peaches or the berries here. How much yogurt? All of that right there in that container. Eight ounces for you at home. And these recipes will be on our website. And the great part about this is after we mix it all in, we'll stir it together and then pretty quickly throw it dessert. in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pour this one in. Mm -hmm. Ready? And what we have here are just- oh. All right, mash them up. Muffin containers here. Nathan's mashing it up. Good job, Nathan. How about if we mix it too? We mix and so it? after that will be stirring we together, we will put it in there. Now these mix. should be in the freezer for around three hours at the minimum. How did they turn that color? Is that well, a different fruit? Yeah, these actually oh, okay. have berries in them, so that's why they are more purple in color. Okay. So if you, get, if you guys want to try one. Yeah, yeah. What are you think? using out of that? It's <laughs> <laughs> just trying the mixture without being frozen. All right, here we go. Here, you want to share? Mm -hmm. Dig in. Jennifer is completing our <laughs> recipe here. Yes. <laughs> Putting them in the cups. We'll have to throw these in the freezer with the peaches in them. That is good. Here we go. And again, the what benefit is this is all natural and healthy with the fruit in there. 
How great to find something that's healthy and good and kids like too. And kid, yes, kid approved. Nathan approved. All right. Nathan, Mike, do you have any more spoons? It. Spoon? So these frozen yogurt cups, the recipe will be on our website, but maybe you can experiment with different fruits as well to put in, but very easy, no oh, yeah. added sugar other than the fruit, or the sugar that's in the fruit already, throw them in the freezer and you're done. It's frozen, isn't it, man? What you can see here is we're moving on to more healthy up. snacks. This is actually a gummy, homemade, all from fruit, with some gelatin in it. These are gonna be two different varieties we're gonna talk about. The ingredients in these are really just citrus. It's lemon and limes um, with added additional stevia or raw sugar. And then what we're gonna do is boil that together. Um, strawberries and the lime and lemon juice was boiled together. <laughs> and then you can add in the box gelatin once it is boiled together and the mixture is. Wanna try this? So. Nathan, give that gummy a, a chance to. How's that taste? What kinds are these? Jello? Zach? I wasn't listening. Is well, it jello? Can, it's gelatin mixed with boiled um, lemon and lime juice mm. and strawberries. I can taste the darker lemon here. Juice in there. Yeah, it's, it's very citrusy. The darker there are actually blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, a mixture. The flavor is outstanding. I'm a little hung up on the, the texture. The lighter red are actually strawberries and oranges, and those are boiled together. I like the texture of this one better than, than that one. It is a gummy texture. The kids seem to like it. Do you like it, Nathan? I like it too. Okay. <laughs> he likes that one. We think alike. Again, recipes on our website. Our final snack we're going to have, we're going to take a little bit of a turn. Maybe not as sweet here, but these are actually carrot roll-ups. Oh, boy. This is carrot and cream cheese. So all my vitamin A's right here. There you go. Wrapped in a tortilla. What these actually are, are, are take the tortilla and it's spread cream cheese over it, shredded carrot, and then raisins and then cut Come up on, into Andy. bites. Because you can do it, Andy. Here, I have to you eat can it, do it. <laughs> what do you think, Nathan? These are very quick to make. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> no? <laughs> <laughs> and these can be a good snack maybe during the afternoon, trying to hold up over between meals. These are quick to make. You can cut them up and just snack on them. And again, healthy. So, more? Yeah, yeah, more. All these recipes will be found on our website. And so we encourage you to check that out. How was it, guys? All in all, good snacks, really healthy good. eating. Yeah. Does it beat the Doritos? Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Very good. Two thumbs up, Nathan. Well, we. <laughs> Great, Nathan. We thank you for joining us. We're going to send it back to Mark, who's got uh, an interesting story on maybe some guys who have eaten healthy snacks mm. over the years themselves. Mark? Well, we don't know much about their diets, but we do know a couple of things. They're powerful and they love Jesus Christ. Talking about the power team, and this week is your chance to experience them live all week long at Ebenezer Mennonite Church just outside of Bluffton. In fact, don't attend just once because every night is a different show. These guys blow up hot water bottles like they're balloons, snap baseball bats like twigs, lift telephone poles overhead, they can rip phone books and so much more. See the power team live February 26th, 27th, 28th, and March 1st at 7 p.m. those evenings, and again March 2nd at 4 p.m. at Ebenezer Mennonite Church, 8905 Columbus Grove Road, located just west of Bluffton. Well, Van Ord is another place to discover some great events for your family, including the Toledo Symphony Orchestra, Jack Hanna, and more. It's all to be found at the Nice Swanger Performing Arts Center. Dancy Moeller is here with all the details. Well, thank you so much. Well, I am pleased to introduce two of my most favorite people in our area, Paul Haverman and Taffy Stober, and both are doing um, great work at the Nicewanger Performing Arts Center in Van Wert. And I am so thrilled to have you here because so much to talk about. We can talk about past, present, and future, but I think we probably should focus on what we can look forward to here in the near future because there are still some tickets, great tickets out there, aren't there? Yes, there are. All yes. right. We, uh, starting right out with uh, the beginning of March, um, uh, we have the Spinners coming, great R&B group, and a lot of people say the Spinners, and boy, you start mentioning all their songs. Oh, I know. And yeah, it's just one song after another. You know, eight or nine easily recognizable hit songs right mm -hmm. away. Yeah. Uh, at least for us. Yeah, yeah. I was know. watching their video. It's so hard to listen to their music and not move. You just want to get up and dance. So I imagine our aisles like will be. Like they will be. Yes, they yeah. will be. So yeah. it'll be a fun show. Yeah, yeah. and it, that's one of those shows where if you say something to your children, they're like, I don't know. And then they go, and then mm -hmm. it would just be a fantastic night for them. Absolutely. Sure. You know? That happened this year with my children with Under the Street Lamp, um, which was a group that came very similar to the Jersey Boys okay. music. Sure. Um, and just an outstanding night. That was a sold-out concert and 
for the year, that one received so many rave reviews. Good. Under the Street Lamp, they had a PBS special, but you will want to listen to their music. Okay. Many, many requests to People bring them back. People still talking about that yeah. one. Good. Yeah. Good. Great show. And mm -hmm. then um, something kind of different then, you're bringing in the Toledo Symphony. Mm -hmm. We are. Toledo Symphony's coming in, and not just Toledo Symphony, but they are they're performing music that I know everyone loves. And once again, it's, it's music that uh, people will say, oh, that was them, Rodgers and Hammerstein music. Sure. And, you know, I mean, it's just been ingrained into our society, the music of Rodgers and Hammerstein mm -hmm. from Broadway shows. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've added a little uh, local twist to it to make it even more interesting. Okay. We have two what we call local singers uh, although they're outstanding performers that are going to be performing with the symphony. Uh, Jake Wilder is a tenor uh, who just finished studying at Bowling Green State University with a degree in, in uh, performance, music performance. Okay. He's an outstanding tenor. Mm -hmm. And Mary Ann Falk, who's a, who's a wonderful soprano, uh, both happen to sing in my church choir, I should mention. Really? Full disclosure here. Okay. But anyway, they are outstanding singers, yeah. and uh, they're going to solo and do a lot of songs with the, with the orchestra. And they're very accomplished, and you can read about them on our website. Their profiles are there, but okay. uh, it will be um, a very, very amazing day. Are you going to pick up an instrument and play then, Paul, or, uh, or not? Not this one, I don't No? Think. No. <laughs> okay. Not that I know of. All right. Yeah. All right, and then... Um, I do want to get to the, um, you've got Dinosaur Train, and I'm assuming that is for the younger crowd it or is. for families? It is. And Slightly younger than us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just okay. a little yeah. bit. Uh, it's a PBS special, oh, um, okay. but it comes to life on stage, and it is nearly sold out is right it? now. Okay. Um, and it's great to have that opportunity in our lineup to have a show that kids can really engage in. And just for families to know, children three and under do not need to purchase a ticket if they oh. sit on a lap. So that's a big focus of ours is to ensure that the arts are accessible um, for every economic level. And we try to keep our tickets very low. And if you do take a look at our ticket sales, our costs on Broadway versus what they would spend going to New York um, or, or other areas, we do keep our ticket prices low and makes it accessible. And that's one of our real benefits. And that's real important. It is. Um, OK, we're running. I hate to say it. We are running out of time. But yes. Church Basement Ladies, I know, will appeal mm -hmm. to a lot of our viewers. What is Church yeah. Basement Ladies? Or what are well, they? Well, we've, we've had Church Basement Ladies like three different times and there are different productions of it. Okay. This particular one is called Church Basement Ladies, A Mighty Fortress is our basement. basement. Yes. yes. Okay. And uh, I, I know that the summary of the, of the show is basically the, uh, it's based around Lutheran ladies in their church Which basement. Which is how I yes. grew up. So. There you go. Okay. And uh, they are going to marry one of their young Lutheran gals to a Catholic boy. Oh boy. Oh. And the Lutheran ladies have to go to the Catholic church basement and do the reception. And you can imagine what's going to happen oh. from all of that. That's it's amazing. just a hilarious time. And I we bet. get busloads of people that come to those shows. Yes. Oh, yeah, people, right. That's yeah. a good idea. Two yeah. shows for two shows. that. Shows. And likely okay. we'll sell them both out. So. Yeah, but okay. tickets still available for yeah. that right now. Good. Well, Paul, Taffy, we are truly out of time. Yeah. Uh, we could talk with yeah. you for the next day, I think, uh, about you know yeah. just so much that's going on. But thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for what you do in our community by bringing in these class acts and um, providing entertainment for our family. So thank you thank for you. your support here at WTLW, Nancy. Definitely. We appreciate it. It's yeah. a joy to be here. Thank yeah. you. All right, back to you. Thanks, Nancy. We do let, want to let you know we have two tickets to give away for the upcoming performance of the Little Symphony. To enter the drawing, simply call or email us with an answer to this question. What was your favorite snack food recipe in today's food segment? So call 419-339-4444, extension 162, or email faithandfriends at WTLW.com. Quick moment now to remind you, you can contact us anytime with thoughts, ideas, and prayer requests. So you can find us on Twitter at Mark Koontz 44, Andy Lynch 44, Jen Beck 44. You can find us on Facebook, Andy Lynch, Jennifer Beck. Not Mark yet. We got to work on eventually. him. We got to get there. You're missing out. I guess. I guess. No. No, no you're I'm not, not missing out on Facebook out at on all. Facebook. Now that I realize which guys we're talking about, not missing out on Facebook <laughs> one bit. Okay, we need to start a rally campaign. Who wants to see Mark Koontz on Facebook? Call Doesn't us. Doesn't matter. I've got the veto Tweet power. Him. I'm not gonna go onto Facebook. Not gonna happen. Not gonna that.
wouldn't be prudent but at he, this juncture. Oh. Tell you what, though, he would pray for you if you email Absolutely. us your prayer requests, 339-3000 or prayer at WTLW.com. And also for some extra encouragement, click on Andy's Points of Life devotional page on our website. Also post it on Facebook and Twitter, and you can visit mine as well. One minute inspiration. It's only supposed to take you one minute to read. What if you're a slow reader? Then it'll take you two minutes. But the second time you read it, it'll only take you a minute. Change the title, Jennifer. <laughs> Change the title. <laughs> well, before we go, we just want to say thank you for your support. Whether you pray for us, whether you support us financially, whether you volunteer here at the station, we appreciate you greatly. And it is because of all of us that we're able to spread the wonderful message of Jesus Christ all across the region. And we're so thankful for those of you who have partnered with us continually. It means a lot. Yeah, a few weeks ago, we got some viewer mail. One of our viewers talked about how she's always praying for everybody involved in the ministry of TV 44. And that, that just kind of really touched me that, you know, there are mm -hmm. folks out there that don't know us that are praying for us. And we are so grateful for that. And just ask that you continue to do so because it does mean a lot to us. We need the prayers and we know we all need the prayers. So we want to be a team in doing just that. Fun faith and friends. That's right. Before we go, we're going to give you our prayer, our scripture of the day one more time. It comes from Psalm 92, 1 through 4. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night. On the lute, on the harp, oh, I think I've read ahead, on the instrument of ten strings, just lots of instruments. For you, Lord, you have made me glad through your work. I will triumph in the works of your hands. I'm ready to go. That's, that's just... It's a battle cry, isn't it? Let's go praise the Lord. Well, we're so glad that you have joined us today. Don't forget, you can rewatch anything you've seen right here by going to our website, WTLW.com. And we'll also have all the uh, recipes available for you as well. Yeah, there. I'm looking forward to uh, trying some of those out. I didn't get to during the show, but I hope there's still <laughs> some left afterwards. The yogurt was amazing. <laughs> Thanks again for joining us. Have a great week, everyone.